Good morning, beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I hope y'all are doing great. I hope you're getting ready for Christmas. I hope you're enjoying the season. I'm going to bring you along with me today with my mom and my sister. We call ourselves the Betches. We are going Christmas shopping and we're going to lunch at our favorite, favorite Buckhead place. And then we're gonna go Christmas shopping and hit all of our favorite spots. I am so excited. This is like our favorite tradition of the year and I'm bringing you along and I can't wait to show you how beautiful these shops are when they're decorated for Christmas because these are some of the oldest and most gorgeous shops in Buckhead. Let's go. I cannot wait. You got a little tripod thing from the car. <laughs> I, I changed. Y'all, I changed my outfit like four more times after we chatted. I just talked to the Betches, my mom and my sister, and we are heading to our favorite, favorite tea room in Atlanta. So, yay. Is it? I would rather you spend money on a Stanley Cup. Mm -mm. Look at those. Do you want a Stanley Cup? A salt and pepper shake. A candle. I know. I've seen those. Those are really cute. Oh, this is mom's favorite scent, the Fraser Fur. Oh, and this. that's yours. Oh, that's yeah, my favorite scent, the bamboo. Yeah. I've never smelled their linen. The gallery at the Swan Coach House has an extremely special place in my heart because I grew up coming here and this was actually my first internship when I was in college. This room, this gallery made me fall in love with art. Bamboo and cotton. Wow, that is striking. It's just so inspiring to be in here. I got the skylights. I love this room. This is like a prank gag gift, but it's also kind of a sculpture. I see a really chic lady. Who, where is she? <laughs> these, look at these. They hold your little bamboo sticks for appetizers. For when you entertain, you just pop them in. Look. So I may get this. Look, it's adorable. So, oh, they're pearls. They are pearls. And look at the little. It's got a little dress when you're not using it. Oh my gosh. How adorable is that? That's really cute. Do you need it? No, but I want it. <laughs> I really want that thing in front of you. This guy and or this guy. Oh, look at those pillows. The dogs. Look down here. I know. Caroline, you're wearing these right now, right? Uh-huh. Those are clips, though. Mine are not. Actually, Mom, you want clips. My back ends have fallen off of these. I do. Okay. This is really cute. You should wrap that on the book. Give it to Zach. Him and his Auburn. Our boys in Auburn. These are adorable. To introduce people to Pixie because mom, 
mom and Pixie are like sisters. She is my sister. <laughs> she is my sister. <laughs> And mom, you told me something the other day that was really powerful. We were talking about just friends and stuff, and you said you should always treat your well, when you I mean we like to treat your family like guests, and you treat your guests like family. I really because Caroline would just said the other day she said when you entertain treat your family like guests, guests and treat your guests and like your guests like family. It should. It was like at meals and Heather knows this. Mom yes. made every meal like an occasion, like an event. She would light candles. Every meal. Or every <laughs> dinner. <laughs> maybe. Everything was oh even, my. Was even if we had cereal, we lit candles. And we used. <laughs> it was yep. so sweet. That <laughs> is sweet. Do you know I sent when their lunchbox to school? I sent a cloth napkin in their lunchbox. I forgot about that. Day. You did. So precious. I think you love that little Is this the thing that Becca can't leave the house without? Oh, we go to school, and they'll ask, "Do you? Did you bring the?" Okay. Oh, oh my God. Have you heard of it? No, she'll ask you that. Both of them do because it's. I've had Bibles for my kids growing up. This Bible is in rhyme, and so something about that the kids love. Show me because it's a rhyme. It doesn't get caught up in. Oh my gosh, you know, that's it's so creative. Just, let's read one. Let me read. Do it. Then one day, God sent some men just to tell him once again, God is sending you a boy who will fill your heart with joy. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 you feel so well. Oh, I've got that for everyone too. This is amazing. And that I love the color of this room. This is the coolest room. I love these trees. I'm really into these right now. I love hanging the wreath over the mirror. I like that. Did you say that? I had to show you how cute this is. Oh my gosh, this company is called Coastal Brahmin. She just sent, get in a little close here, beautiful arrangement, including little shortbread Christmas cookies. She is too much. Oh my gosh. Now she told me in this notepad that her dresses tend to run small, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. She said, let me know if it doesn't work out. 
so sweet. Look at this ribbon. Oh my gosh. That is so nice of her. Oh, we're saving that ribbon, honey. That is beautiful. Good love. This is gorgeous. Wow. Look at the detailing on this. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is exquisite. Oh. It has like little puffy sleeves. Oh, it's really cute. Okay. And then it has a stash. Yay. Oh my gosh. She sent all the napkins to me. That's so precious. Oh my gosh. I have the most perfect napkin rings. Y'all stay tuned. I had this idea a while ago to do a blue and white Christmas table. This is so generous. Wow. I absolutely love this dress. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed. So this is actually without the sash that came with it. I'm gonna try the sash on in a second, but I really love the movement it has. What size am I wearing? Honestly, it's a medium. Okay, it is a medium. This is perfect. This fits amazingly. This is a medium. She said her dress is run small, but the medium fits me perfectly. I adore, adore the top. I actually didn't button it. I kind of like that it's a little open. You can see that, you know, a little open. You can button it all the way if you want. And the great thing about long dresses like this in the wintertime is you can wear a nice thick turtleneck up top if you get cold and then down there it's just like a beautiful skirt now let me try it on with the sash absolutely stunning i love it absolutely love it i love that it's like a different pattern than the rest of the dress because it gives like a nice dimension to it it's beautiful so we are heading to my uh actually first we're going to trader joe's get a couple of things and then tonight I'm so excited because my mom and my sister still live in the neighborhood where I grew up and we've I mean my dad grew up in this neighborhood so we've known a lot of these people for our whole lives her book club from the neighborhood is throwing her another shower tonight so this is gonna be like her third baby shower and I cannot wait for you guys to see the sweetness that will ensue because these women these families are the definition of southern hospitality and it's gonna be so sweet. Unicorn just put a layer. I call it cotton candy. I know, I know, it's so happy. They've like, ooh, this one's really colorful. Very beautiful berries we have. What a treasure. Ready to get the biggest. Hey, Caroline, your mom can't babysit all. They're getting thicker. That's so sweet. Those are so cute. Okay, here you are. What a treasure that is. Huh? Is that her bed? It's a blanket. <laughs> Caroline, show me. Look at the bed. Oh my gosh. This is in the coat room. Look at this cute little dollhouse. It is so detailed. Oh. What are you what is the elf for? This is Herman. And this is what I like to work 
for my staff. This is Herman. Is this the elf on the shelf? Yeah, this I had him when I was a little girl. <gasps> this is my elf growing up. He's kind of ratty looking. <laughs> but this is Herman. <laughs> so this is like the adult version of Elf on the Shelf. So for my team, what I like to do, because a lot of them are moms and they have kids, so I hide my little elf. So I am 62, so that means Herman is probably 60 years old. Not bad. Yeah, look look, look at me with this your shows, eyes open. This shows you that elves don't age. Look at him. <laughs> he doesn't age. He's 60 years old. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I, <laughs> I did this last year and I loved it. So I hide it around. I hide him around the office. Like every day, I hide it, and we hide it in really hard places. Like we can't find it. So if you hide it, and then if you find Herman, then if you find him, you have to rehide him. And then at the end of the week, everybody like who either found him or hit him, um, we do a drawing, and I get just sweet little, little just little gifts. Like I'll, I'll do like a little bath bomb or like a hot chocolate bomb. Our little candles and things and so then I pick like however two winners every week and then they get a, a little elf on the shelf prize from playing with her look and see look how cute he is here but we get really you have to get really crazy okay, so where are some of your nurses hidden him before what's um, like the craziest we hide him <laughs> in the craziest because I can't oh, see him from here oh, they hit him somebody hit him in a breast pump box <laughs> Like in the box, or you can hide them like I don't know, they just hide them all over, but it's just fun. Or you put him in, oh, some okay. The fun thing about this, especially for adults, is the best hiding places are the most obvious. Like, if you tell people we're doing the elf game, then your senses are so tuned to look for him, like you know, somewhere very obscure where you're you wouldn't find him. Where if you put him somewhere so out in the front. Everybody can walk in here and nobody. I, can I see would him. never see him. Yeah. But he's no, yeah, I wouldn't. He's not really hidden. So do you ever have someone find him and not rehide him? No, everybody rehides him. <laughs> and they, I mean, these are grown women and they really <laughs> love playing this game. So this it. is what we do in December at work. Oh. Well, he's cute. Yep, lots of fun. Elf on the shelf for adults, you know, which would be fun to play a game after a glass of wine or two. We might. Whoever hit her would probably forget what they hit. I hope you guys had fun with us hanging out with the Betches today. This is my favorite Christmas tradition, honestly. Like it, it always has been, always will be, and I hope it's inspired you to do something in your own home. Every time we go do this, I get so many ideas. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for me so you know every Sunday when my videos go live. I have to show you how cute my bracelet is. It says love, and it's like a friendship bracelet. It's from The Love Project, and I love all of their stuff. So check them out, and they're a small business, but I love this bracelet. I get so many compliments every time I wear it. It says love for oh so loving. Okay, that's all. Bye. Hey girl. Yeah? You should subscribe to this channel. I'll do it. I can't wait to see y'all next week, and Merry Christmas.